Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am coming at you guys with another haul video, if you can already tell by the title. We have quite a few different things here, so I think we're just gonna jump right into it. But before doing that, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a big thank you because we have made it to 100 subscribers. I know it's not much, but um, we're at the start of the triple digits, which makes me really freaking excited. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you. So much. I love each and every single one of you with all my freaking heart. So now we can get started with this video. Okay, so the first item that I got is actually the Sugar Bear Hair Gummy Vitamins, and they came in a little package like this. Obviously, gonna cover my address. Um, they came in a little package like this. Nothing too crazy, you know, it's pretty simple. But this is what they look like pretty cute color. So these are actually vegetarian gummies. Um, I believe it says it has biotin, folic acid, and vitamin C. Um, it says it is gluten-free, soy-free, and cruelty-free. And I actually got these just yesterday and took my first two yesterday and then took my two today. Um, they say that you can take the two gummies either at the same time or different times of the day which is exactly what I did yesterday. I took them at different times of the day, one earlier in the day and one in the night. And then today I took my two gummies at the same time. And let me just say guys that these gummies smell so freaking good. Like, okay, before I even continue, let me just go ahead and tell you guys that today's video is not sponsored by any of the brands in this video. Um, these are all my personal opinions, um, first thoughts and things like that. So. Just putting it out there but these gummies smell so freaking good like oh my god oh, they smell so good and let me show you guys how the gummies look look how freaking cute guys tell me that's not cute and they're in a freaking cute color too like i really love how they look um they are chewy gummies and their taste actually reminds me of the do you guys remember the scooby dare Scooby Dare, <laughs> Scooby Doo gummies that you know they come in like I think it's like a purple package. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I feel like they taste exactly like the Scooby Doo gummies, and my mom also says so because I am also sharing these with my mom um, because she was also curious about these just as I was. And I was very like, it took me a while to decide if I was gonna get these or not because there was a lot of pros and a lot of cons that I was looking at. But I feel like what made me make my decision was the fact that I have a family friend who uses these. And he told me they were helping him out. Like, he noticed everything with his hair and all. So I was like, alright, I guess I'll try it, you know? So, that's why I have it. This one is the one month supply. I think they had like, like they had a three month supply, six month, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I got the one month and I'll go ahead and leave the price for everything in this video because I don't have a good memory about it But um, yeah, today was day two of using these and um, so basically I'm just waiting for it to do its magic So also in the packaging they gave me this sugar bear sticker. How freaking adorable I got a sugar bear bracelet which I really don't think I'm gonna wear but I'll probably just keep there and also this cute little sugar bear keychain I'm probably gonna put that on my lanyard or something because it's so cute okay so moving on we're gonna go ahead and jump into this guy and yes you can see he's already open because I kind of had to take a sneak peek because I was pretty excited but okay Next guy is oh, Suavecito, once again, because you know your girl is crazy about the Suavecita merch. So, so quick side note, I guess we'll say, everything that I purchased was purchased at different times, which means they all came at certain times, so I kind of had to wait until everything was here to make this video for you guys, so that's why I had to take a little sneak peek, if you know what I'm saying. So anyways, we got Suavecita stuff, and 
To start off, I will show you guys. So Suavecita just released their Brick House Lip Grip um, collection. Couldn't really think for a second, but this is basically what they look like. And I'll just show you guys one for now, but this is the packaging that it has. And it says Suavecita Brick House Collection. We have the name of the lipstick right here. It says Le Freak has a little look of the lippy and then on the side right here it has the S for Suavecita and this side is the name how cute and it is also vegan cruelty free paraben free and gluten free so Suavecita knows what they're doing so I'm gonna leave these for last so we can go ahead and try them later so I'm gonna leave these to this side and then I also got a shirt from Suavecita I do plan on getting a lot more, but this one was just one that kind of caught my eye. It was one of the first ones. So this is the shirt. It is the Suavecita Drive-In Tee, if I'm not mistaken. But this is pretty much how it looks. And then right here, it has a little logo. It says, get it, Ruka Suavecita. And it has the OG vehicle babies. I like to call them that. <laughs> And then we have the same logo in the back. That's how it looks. How fun. And the shirt is a size small, because you know, new girl is pretty small, so I mean, the smallest I can get. <laughs> so this one actually does have the price on it, and it was $24.99. And then this is the little price tag thing. Cute. Yeah, so the size is right here. And then it even has the Suavecita logo on it as well, so. They know what they're doing, guys. Next, we're moving on to this guy. Because he was more of a necessity. So now that I started working, I kind of told myself that with every check, I was going to go ahead and treat myself. Since I'm not really paying any bills right now or anything, um, I told myself I'd go ahead and take the advantage of treating myself, whether it's clothes, whether it's lipsticks or shoes or whatever the heck I want like I'm just gonna get it no questions asked because I mean I feel like this is a limited thing because <laughs> once bills start kicking in like it's gonna get pretty crazy so taking advantage right now so as I was treating myself I kind of sat back and thought like okay what is it that I actually actually need and one of the things that I really really do need are shoes because your girl literally only has one pair of shoes like well I won't say it like that because I have high heels I have these platform sandal looking shoes the polka dotted ones that I showed you guys I have these thigh high boots I have quite a few different style of shoes except for shoes shoes like tennis shoes so I went ahead and got myself a pair of shoes so, I didn't just get myself a pair of regular shoes, guys. No. I went ahead and got myself some freaking Converse. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, and I am very excited to own a pair of Converse again because it has been quite a while. Not really, it just feels like it's been that long. It's only been like a couple of months or so. I went ahead and got myself some Converse because your girl loves a good pair of Converse. So before this, I had a pair of Chucks and I had those Converse forever. Oh my goodness. Literally, I had those shoes until they were able to speak to me. Like, it was that long. And even at that, I didn't want to throw them away because I felt like they were still, I was, you know, able to wear them out still. Like they weren't completely messed up. Like they were just getting messed up. So I wanted them to last as long as they could. But um, it got to the point where they ended up going in the trash anyway. So since then, I had my vans, but they got super, super dirty. And then I tried cleaning them and they just wouldn't get clean because of how dirty they were. So I put those in the trash as well. So I literally have just my Nikes. That's it. That's the only type of tennis shoe that I have. So I was in need of new shoes. So went ahead and got myself some new babies. And I got me the Chucks. How freaking exciting. Like, yes, baby. Yes. I actually got these in a size 6. And I'm actually really curious if they're gonna fit me or not because 
The last time my old pair of Converse that I had were in a kid's size and they were like a, what was it, like a two and a half? Or like a somewhere around there, but they were a small size. And this is the adult size and a size six. And this is my first time ordering them as an adult size, so I'm kind of curious. But, um, I mean, they look like they're gonna fit. They look like they're gonna be, like, I'm gonna have some space up here for my little piggies, so I feel like that's a good thing. But yeah, guys, I got chucks. And I still plan on getting some more Converse, so these aren't, you're not just gonna be seeing these. And I also plan on getting some more Vans as well, but right now I'm kind of focusing on Converse because I've always had a thing for Converse. I always preferred Converse over Vans. Like, I just, I like these guys. They're so cool. So. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the covers away and move on. So, I think this is the final thing that I'll be showing you guys, but it is in this bag. So, first things first, a few words about this brand. This is actually my first time ever buying anything from this brand. This is the brand called Shein, if I'm not mistaken. Is that how you pronounce it? Probably not. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. But this is a brand that I have never, ever in my entire life shopped at. I have always just shopped in my local mall or at Target or Walmart. Never really got too crazy with like online shopping or anything. So this is the next part of the haul, Shein. Um, and I got quite a few things from here. And it all started because I was just trying to look for some long sleeves for the winter that I can actually be warm in because I don't really like to do the whole long sleeve and coat thing. It kind of irritates me. Like I feel like it's either one or the other. But yeah, so I was looking for some long sleeves and then this brand popped up. So I went ahead and had a look and you guys, when I tell you they actually have some cute things on there, they actually have some cute things on there. And price-wise, I mean, they're pretty good. Again, not sponsored, just sharing my thoughts with you guys. So, but if you want a sponsor, hello. So, yes, now I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got. So, we have, I wanna say, we have three items in here, and they are actually all tops. This is the first top, and it comes in a little Ziploc bag. How cute. Is that like two? Make sure they're extra safe or something. Do each of the tops need specific bags? I don't know. Okay, so this is the first item. It is actually a turtleneck kind of long sleeve. And in the picture, when the model had it on, it was supposed to be like a baggy turtleneck long sleeve thing. So it has the sleeves and I feel like these are pretty baggy sleeves. Now the turtleneck, I was very iffy about because I don't really care for turtlenecks. I never really did. I would always hate as a kid when my mom would put turtlenecks on us for school. Like she would literally put turtlenecks and then she would put a t-shirt over so we wouldn't be, you know, too cold or, you know, whenever it was cold, she would just do that. I hated it so much though. So that's what I'm kind of iffy about, but um, this is kind of one of those outfits that I decided to get out of my comfort zone with and kind of face it instead and try it. It actually feels really warm, guys. Like, it kind of feels like not too thick of a material, but not too thin either. It feels like that good material that you know you're gonna be warm in. And especially since it's supposed to be baggy, like, I feel like I'm gonna be very comfortable. Like, just holding it right here makes me so comfortable. I love it. So they have the name of the brand right there, where the size is. I don't know if it's Shein or if it's like a fancy like Shein or I don't know guys. On to top number two, which also is in the same Ziploc bag. I don't know what it's for, but okay. So this top is very red. <laughs> it is just a red long sleeve and it has a little turtleneck as well. <laughs> but this one is supposed to be fit to your body which obviously is why I chose it because hello, your girl likes fitted fashion stuff, I guess. What? I can't talk, okay. And this material feels so much thicker than the one that I just showed you. Like this one feels like I'm gonna be hot if I put it on, but I can't get over the softness. Like this thing is just so like, feels like a blanket. Moving on to the final item. Okay, why aren't you in a Ziploc bag? I'm confused. Do they all 
have their personal bags because this one just came in a regular bag. So this is the final top of the night. And it is just this simple black sweaterish looking long sleeve. And the reason why I actually got it guys was because it's not only a simple black, but because it has a rose right there. The rose called my attention, basically. It feels kind of fresh. It doesn't feel like too much, um, but it does feel comfortable. Why do all these tops feel comfortable? She is, what are you doing? Whatever you're doing, you're doing it right because these feel so freaking good. Okay, but that is basically it for the clothes. Now going back to the lipsticks, we're gonna go ahead and try them out. Okay, so before doing a little lipstick try on for you, we're gonna talk about these lipsticks real quick. They knew what they were doing with this packaging like you have autumn tones in there definitely pretty pretty sure that this collection is supposed to be for autumn if I'm not then correct me because <laughs> that's literally all I'm seeing like the gradients from the yellow to the orange is so freaking cute but this is the first shade it's called Le Freak and I feel like it's more of a kind of reminds me of the devoted lippy I have from them already but just a lighter version. This is it without being in the package. Yeah, it's like a lighter version of Devoted. And then the next one that we have is called Dancing Queen. And this is what it looks like. I feel like this one is more of like a pinkish touch, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of reminds me of a pink. Kind of like the Morphe or the NYX lipstick that I have. And then the last one that we have is Foxy. And this is her. I don't know about you guys, but I literally just see orange popping out. So I want to say it's like an orangey shade and it's really cute. Like, I just feel like all these colors are meant for fall, you know? Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and try Dancing Queen first. We'll mix it a little bit. And they smell so good, guys. For some reason, they smell like candy to me. Or just something sweet. Oh my god, that literally looks like Devoted. Okay, so we have one layer on right now, and from afar, it looks like it's on completely, but up close and personal, I'd say we need a little bit more just on the top lip, but um, not so bad for a first application. Really reminds me of Devoted, but it has more of, I wanna say, like a pinkish sort of tone added to it. I feel like Devoted is more on the red side because it is from like the, I wanna say, like the Valentine's Day collection. It's a good application. I really like it, obviously. I mean, I have a lot of their lippies already. It doesn't feel like it's too much, but again, it is just one layer. I feel like I'm gonna be really happy with this lipstick, guys. Eee, I'm excited! Okay, moving on to Foxy, which was the orange shade. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it as well. And I'm really excited for this one because it's a little bit on the lighter side and I don't really have any like light lipsticks besides the Morphe one and the NYX one. I've never had an orange lipstick, so let's try this baby out. Oh, you're pretty because you're not a bright orange. You're like a semi-bright, semi-dark. You're in the middle. It's cute. Oh my god, I really like you. Okay, we definitely need a little more for this one. Okay, so this is Foxy. And I don't know how I feel about it because I've never had an orange lipstick. I've never even tried one. So it's like, whoa, you know, it's weird. It's crazy. It's weird. I don't know what to think. Put it this way. I feel like this lipstick is going to take a lot of time for me to get used to when I put it on because I don't really own light shades like this. Like I know orange isn't really like a light shade, but I don't own any lipsticks that aren't red. So this is pretty interesting for me. Um, talk about out of my comfort zone. I think we are a little bit. So Foxy, you are Foxy. Let's just say that. <laughs> Next one. Okay guys, we have made it to our final lippy to try for the night and this one is 
Le Freak and it is the I want to say it's the most brickish looking color out of all of them I feel like this one is gonna be devoted straight out like this one just looks so much like devoted mm-hmm now that one's devoted I thought Dancing Queen was devoted this one is devoted yeah uh-huh yep I see it already so I think this one is one of the ones that needs to be applied so much because it literally like a lot is happening or not even that guys like this one just is very watery for some reason i don't know why kind of weirded out by this lipstick i don't know what's happening like for some reason this one is like it doesn't apply like the other two this one is very very wet like i don't know you're supposed to shake it or i don't know because if that was the case, like, why is this one the oddball? Applying it, it was like nothing was really popping out. It would, there's a lot of patches, and when you take it out of the brush, like, it's very wet. But not a lot is happening on the brush at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, I guess it dries the same like the other ones, but for some reason when you apply it, it's very like, I don't know, I just feel like it's the oddball out of all three of the lipsticks that I've tried. Despite the application being kind of weird, um, I don't really think this one is my cup of tea. Maybe I need to try some things to make it more lipsticky i guess i don't know i'm just really weirded out by this one i don't know why this one was the oddball so i guess we'll just leave it like that um okay this one is lay freak all right i'm gonna go ahead and take this lipstick off so we can end this video Alrighty, guys so that basically concludes our haul i am very happy with everything that I purchased. But again, coming back to Le Freak, I'm really, really trying to figure out what the heck went wrong with this lipstick. I mean, I don't think anything is wrong with it because it dried fine. It's just the application that threw me off because it was very watery looking and felt like nothing was applying. Like it was all like patchy and stuff. And none of these were like that. They applied very perfectly, like so smooth, didn't have to do like double layer or anything. Like they were fine. It's just this one that like went a whole nother direction when applying it. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like that and it just threw me off. Weird. I mean, I tried the mixing thing the way that I did with these ones before applying and this one just... It's just an oddball. I don't know. Like I said, probably nothing's wrong with it and it's just me i'm confused but okay so with that we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did please give it a big old thumbs up i would really appreciate that don't forget to comment share and subscribe don't forget to turn on those post notifications to know when i post and don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not so entertaining life and what my channel's life i love each and every single one of you and i'll see you all in my next video bye <laughs>